Hello again, welcome to Lilybrook and another little hairy golfer tail. Right, the best I've managed this year from the yellow tees is seven over and that included a lot of lucky shots. A couple of bounces back to the fairway off the trees, that sort of thing. I'm in my first competition on Sunday playing from the white tees and I have no real idea what I've got. I had my second jab, which left my left arm not only just sore, but as dead as a doornail. And I tried playing with it, and it wasn't much fun. So uh, I think it's time, don't you? Can we get serious now? Well, my pattern off the first tee is either skanking it down the right or pulling it in the trees on the left. So that time was a pull into, into the left. I dunked it in the front bunker. Now this was wet, so I thought this was going to come flying out. And um, it just didn't. I just don't seem to be able to get started on this golf course at the moment. So this was another skinny one, a bit skanky, but it went straight. Thank goodness for that. Left me a five iron. And that was a little bit thin as well. Got it on the green. And I'm just hoping that it's gonna actually stop on the green. And it did, I can't believe it. I'm pin high putting for a bird off two skanky shots. And there's another one. It's not looking good, is it?
Well, we've managed to get a couple of pars under our belt. I've just stuffed this 7-iron to about 6 or 7 feet, so... Uh, things are starting to look up in this round. This is how my game kind of like is going. Struggling to get started on the golf course. And then once I get settled down, the pars start rolling in. This was back right, so I've come to the right side of the tee today and faded a perfect 4-iron. Pitched pin high. But this is a downhiller, and you don't want a downhiller on the 7th green. Well, I just clipped a tree there in the right-hand rough. It spat it out, but I'm a long way back. Four-iron punch fade, one of my favourite shots. Seem to play it an awful lot around Lilybrook at the moment because I'm not hitting it in the right place. But that was perfect. And this is just a shove. But when I look back at the video, one frame at a time, I can see why I shoved it. So... That's something to fix. And this thing's got a ton of brake on it. You know, sometimes I cut a putting clip just to cut out the walking. But if I cut every clip, you don't know whether I'm telling the truth or not about my tappings. Although this is obviously longer than a tap-in. I suppose if I rolled it up there to eight inches, I would have just chopped it and moved on. But I do like to show you that the score I'm making is actually real. So that drive has gone a little over 275. I really should be taking the 7 iron here. So I've taken the 8, I've tried to force the issue, and I've skanked that down the right. That, that was silly. That's a stupid mistake. Because there's no up and down from here. This green runs away from me. I don't stand a chance. 25 feet would be good. Even bumbling it through the rough there, not a chance. It's just going to release 20 odd feet. And there we go. But still, you know, even with all those bad shots, I've played the front nine to my handicap.
Right, number 12, I'm stood outside the box here and wanting to hit this up the right, tight to the corner. Unfortunately, I've hit a little draw and this is going to go a long way left on that slope. I'm expecting to hook this off the upslope. I mean, this is a long way. I've never hit three wood into this thing. And um, I still haven't hit three wood into this thing. That needs luck. And I got it. A couple of yards away from the bushes. The rest of this is a bit of a mess. Number 14, going with a 5 wood. I'm going to hit this easy. But I didn't get through it by hitting it easy. So I've stuck it up the right, and that's going to get stuck in the rough. And this just isn't pretty. But at least it's a front flag. Oh, hang on. Hang on. It did. Can't believe I'm just up. Anyway, easy up and down. Here we go. And that's short, Simon.
Friday, number 17. Now, I have been playing this better recently. You can see my breath there. It's three degrees this evening. I was absolutely frozen playing this show. But I am playing this hole a lot better. I'm hitting the damn target, so can't complain. I just wish you could see down this hole the way that we can on the tee box, but with the camera being set back three or four yards, you don't get to see it that well. 